He's late again. This is making me crazy. He doesn't even have to pick up the kids. Mommy, can you buy a toy Superman for me tomorrow? Yes, yes. It's time to go inside. I need to cook dinner. Don't forget, Mommy. Red superheroes and green ones, too. Tomorrow. I'll remember. You are wearing me out, just like your father. Can't you arrive home earlier than this? Yes, I'll try. Try? Other people go to work just like you, and they manage to get home early. You are not the only busy person in the world. You know what my job is like. Everyone is busy, but you could try coming home on time. Spending some time with our children, helping me with the housework. You are not a good father or husband. Hurry up, B. Yes, Daddy. It's too much. What's wrong? Why do you sigh like that, Nang? The love in my marriage has died. Why do you say that? I feel the connection between my husband and I has been lost. Really? That bad? Yes, he always comes home late and doesn't care about me and B. All he knows is just work, work, work. I have met Quan several times. I thought he was a good man who cared for his family. That may be what you have seen, but you don't know my daily life with him. Our relationship is so boring. Day in, day out, night after night, he pays me no attention at all. But it should start with you. Can't you try to be welcoming and warm? I think you are so exhausted by work that you bring your anger home. Am I right? You know me so well. When I am not happy, I find it difficult to hide that, and I am hard. Nang, listen to me. First, do your best to create a happy and harmonious family atmosphere. Then things will go more smoothly. All right, give me your phone. Why? Come on, just hand it over. Oh my God, I am late to pick up my son. Good evening, I am here to pick up my son, B. Your husband was already here to pick up B today. Really? Oh, thank you. That's strange. It's going to rain today. Mummy! You're back home already. Why did you come home early today? I told my boss I was leaving early today. It's been such a long time since we've had a meal together as a family. Darling, from now on we must take better care of each other. I want you to share your difficulties with me. Wow! I came back home yesterday and my husband's attitude was completely different from usual. He even spoke tenderly. Didn't you use the phone yesterday? No. Why do you mention the phone? Just give me the phone. You are such a bother. Here you are. The secret's in the message. <laughs> my husband, there are times I become angry and scold you for no reason. But please remember that whether I am happy or sad, I miss you when you're away from me. And I love you so much. Oh my god, did you text him that? I am so embarrassed. There you go. Your family life was lacking because you no longer said sweet things to each other. Be honest with your husband and share more openly with him. I believe your family life will change for the better if you know how to help the happiness along the way. Maybe you're right. Thank you. From now on, things will change. Upside down sleep. Time to go gather food for the winter, my friends. Wake up, little bat. We must go gather food with the others. No, I don't want to go out. It's too cold outside. Indeed. Winter is on its way, but if we don't gather food now, 
We won't have any for the long winter ahead. Ah! Blackbird, don't you look where you're going when you're flying? Hey, you weren't looking either. I'm flying back to my nest. You should watch where you're going. Is that the blackbird's house? Winter is coming. Time to repair our nest so we will be warm and safe. Yes, Mother. The blackbird has such a beautiful nest. Why don't bats make nests? Why are you getting home so late? Um, I want to ask you something. And what is that, son? Why do we have to hang upside down when we rest? It's too hard. We should make nests like the blackbirds. Our ancestors have always lived this way. Bats don't make nests. Hanging upside down is the way to defend ourselves. From this position, we are always safe, my son. Now, it's getting late. Time to sleep. But why do we have to do this? A nest would be so much warmer and safer. Little bat, what are you doing? I'm making a nest. You're making a nest? This is great. A warm and safe nest. Little bat, I told you. We sleep on the cliff. That's how we protect ourselves. Just because we have always done so, it does not mean we can't make a change. Don't discourage me, Mother. How stubborn you are. Some time later. From now on, all bats will make nests just like I have. Ah! Go away! Go away, cruel snake! Snake! There is a snake! You are at the end of the road, bat. You have nowhere to run. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Cannot fly? <laughs> Mom! Help! Help me! <laughs> what a pity. A soft and young bat would have been a tasty treat. You arrived just in time. The nest wasn't safe. I didn't realize I couldn't fly out of it. Now you know why we sleep upside down. It's our defense instinct. When a bat hangs upside down, it can just drop and fly away when it senses danger. It is the quickest and safest way a bat can escape an enemy. I get it, Mum. Every species has its own behavior. I was just being stubborn and refusing to listen to you. I'm glad you understand. Come now, let's go home. <laughs>